Now, speaking of heavy rain, Megan, Megan Rivers is standing by for us along the 1900 block of C Street. And Megan, those neighbors kind of on edge after some heavy rain this past weekend. Yeah, you're exactly right. And fortunately, right now, we're not seeing any of that heavy rain. You can see up in the sky, since we've been out here all day, the sky has gotten considerably darker, and it probably will rain here shortly. But again, right now, nothing is happening. But this portion of C Street was all underwater earlier, uh, well, last week, uh, on Saturday uh, afternoon, when we got that rain pour, and kind of all the way down uh, the block in this area, they saw a lot of flooding. And the neighbors that we spoke with believe it's directly related to this ongoing construction pro uh, project here, and they're hoping that the city will do something to fix the problem. I just saw water streaming down the street like I've never seen before. A frightening sight for Miss Dorothy Wright. In her 20 years of living along C Street Northeast, she's never gotten nervous when it rains. But the downpour on Saturday was nerve wracking once the rainwater began to rise just outside of her doorstep and she fears another storm could flood her basement. The way the water came down, I've never seen that before. I've never seen anything like that. And I know so I don't know what to expect. On Saturday, she recorded this video, documenting while in shock. And her neighbor, Bob, who lives a few blocks away along 21st Street, captured this, an entire intersection underwater. He tweeted to DDOT to alert them of the flooding. We also made DDOT aware of their concerns and they say they will get back to us. But it's not just flooding that concerns Wright. She thinks it's also an environmental concern and hopes the city is able to fix what she says was once never a problem. It's nasty. It smells. We have a sewer right here. You may see that if you take the camera around there and you can smell it's sour water. I would like for them to complete this project and I asked, they told me that it's going to be like this until December. Well, Ms. Wright also told me that because of the flooding that happened on Saturday, police had to block off this whole intersection and even down the road was impassable as well. And that made it difficult for anyone to get in or out of this neighborhood. And they had to walk if they were uh, driving, if they had driven away from their homes. So again, the rain is just now getting ready to start. I guess I spoke too soon, uh, but this is a concern that we will continue to follow and we'll wait for that response from DDOT and update you on air and online. Reporting live in Northeast DC tonight, I'm Megan Rivers. I'll send things back to you all in the studio.